up everyone welcome back to my channel today will be a quiet easy breezy simple vlog about one of my favorite juice recipe that I incorporate in so many of my videos and so many people ask me for exact recipe of this green juice that I drink pretty much every morning every morning actually not pretty much every morning my husband drinks it my daughter drinks it and also I wanted to show you a juicer I use because I feel like I tried so many juices and this one is the best one so stay with me in this video and yeah let's spend this morning together <laughs> I love to drink green juice in the morning, especially before my workout, because I hate to eat before workout. Like I hate the feeling of having a breakfast in your stomach and like having to jump up and down and just feeling your food coming up. I feel like juice is just such a great way of getting this calories in and also like sugar gives you a little bit more energy. So as soon as I wake up, I drink my green juice. I take my espresso and I just have how to work out. And then after workout, I use Usually if I'm hungry I eat breakfast after my workout right after or one hour after or if it's a later workout sometimes I just fast until I have a proper lunch that's just the way I like it I'm not obviously suggesting that to you if you feel hungry in the morning you should simply eat but that's how I feel is right for me because I just simply never like to eat breakfast I'm not a breakfast person Okay, so going back to my juicer, I'm gonna show you my favorite juicer. It's very small, compact juicer, brand Breville. I'll show you. Yes, I believe it's called Juice Fountain, this model. It's basically, I wanted to show you how it looks inside. It has like a mesh, which you clean every time after you use it. Yes, every time. Because if you don't, all this clogged fruit and vegetables will create a bacteria, which is not obviously so healthy for you. And I recommend to change this part every six months because also it doesn't juice very well after a while because the blades just don't work properly anymore. So you can find this part on Amazon and replace it every six months. And all the parts also you can wash in dishwasher, which is great. It comes with like a little measuring cup. Like this exact amount is perfect for three people, for me, Allegra and Valeria. So this juicer is great for family of three. Probably if you have more kids and more people to serve, this is not a right juicer. You probably have to pick some model that is a little bit bigger. So you basically just put this that in and you put this on top and then you close so here it is okay guys so that's my juicer i will attach the link below to this exact juicer the price point is not that expensive so i think it's also a big plus to that and i had this juicer for forever so it's really a good quality juicer and will not break so let's go to the, to the actual juice recipe i will take you step by step how i do it i usually buy a bunch of fruits and i just put them in a big vases like this i love the look of big vase with a lot of fruits and like these green apples I use for a green juice those red apples Allegra loves to eat so those are not for juice so we will use for our juice apple orange one lemon and we'll go to fridge here I have my celery and cucumber so those are all ingredients we're gonna use for our juice today. I like to add sometimes ginger if you wanna add a little spice to your juice. Allegra does not like ginger, so I kind of stopped adding it because she doesn't like it. That's how usually moms do, right? <laughs> We're just our kids. But for probably this is an amount for two people. For one person, I would do like a small celery, a stock, half of the cucumber, apple, and orange. For more of a three people, I would do full celery stock, full cucumber, and then two apples and one orange. So you just have to adjust according to the people. But today we're doing this is just for me and I will just use what you saw on my table. Okay, so this is obviously a very important step. We're gonna wash all our fruits and vegetables. Washing is just so important because, you know, they spray all these uh, products with God knows what, so it's important to really wash it off. And I use this 
spray for it's called veggie wash looks like this that i buy on amazon i mean they have different kind of brands i buy also another brand that they sell usually in whole foods and you use this veggie wash spraying directly on vegetable or fruit you rub it for about 20 30 seconds and then you just rinse it off and you could just like feel the difference like for example you feel this like waxy texture on top of the apple but if you actually wash it with the spray you stop feeling that wax on top of the surface of your fruit and veggies so let's go and clean it all very well this is take number five let me tell you it's so hard to film anything at home like husband shows up in the middle of the shot nanny shows up i like her screaming <laughs> battery just died anyway going back to washing it <laughs> we have everything cleaned some of it needs to be peeled off for example this orange we don't juice it with skin because you'll have this like bitter taste in your juice which you don't want to have and the same goes with lemon but honestly for a lemon i prefer just to cut it in half and use this kind of lemon squeezer it's just faster and easier okay so let's just peel off this orange I prefer also to cut apple on half just because if the apple is too big you can't feed it in the actual juicer but this actually apple is pretty small so I might not cut it and cucumber on half because we don't need as much cucumber okay now that we have all things prepped we're just gonna start to choose them <laughs> juice done i like to put it in the glass and then to add a lemon so i use about half a lemon for one glass of juice i like citrusy taste to my juice also it kind of covers the taste of celery very well very nice also one little trick that i like to do is to add one cube of ice in the juice it just makes it like slightly a bit colder which just makes the juice better i usually drink my juice with a straw i use this aluminium straws that i bought on amazon it's like a set of 10 that you can buy and it comes with like a little brush and i like it. it's a very ecologically friendly i guess okay guys so that was my favorite juice recipe that you all been asking for more detailed explanation to it so here is a ratio of this juice how i drink it and how i make it don't forget to comment and like this video if you like that i love to hear your thoughts so if you have any other questions related to this video or not related to this video please don't be scared to write them down below i will answer i'll try to answer all of them of course and cheers mm -hmm.